how did I quit my corporate and travel the world and do what I love and be in locations just like this. This is real. This is not fake. This is where I'm actually at and I love it. How did I do it? I want to give you the good, the bad, the ugly. I want to tell you the entire truth. I want to give you it step by step. Because if you want to be your own boss, if you're tired of going to the office, if you want to be an online entrepreneur, I want you to know the truth. I want you to know that you're not earning money just like that, that it does not happen overnight, and that I did not take the leap of faith, nor do I want my clients to take that leap of faith. Look, this video is for you, and I hope you can relate, I hope you can learn from what I've learned, and I hope you can start taking the steps to achieve the life that you are dreaming about. See, most people, they know me right now as a clarity coach who is helping other corporate professionals to create an escape plan and transition from the corporate into being an online entrepreneur. But what most people do not know is the work and the effort and the steps that I've taken, the challenges and the struggles that I've been through to become who I am today and to be able to do what I do today. So that's what I wanna take you through. And I wanna take you through what I've learned as well. Because a few years ago, I was in corporate. I was in an office, I had to commute every day. I was working for a boss. I felt suffocated, I felt trapped, I felt imprisoned. I had chronic stomach aches, I had severe stress stomachache related to the stress. I, I hated it. I hated to ask for permission to buy some tape and a pencil and a pen. I just, I couldn't take it anymore. I knew I wanted to be an entrepreneur, but I didn't know how. I didn't know where do I start? What do I do? I just, I did not know, but I figured it out. And by the way, if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that red button and hit the like and also comment below, comment your thoughts, comment your questions because I really want to help you. I've been through it so I can help you and, and I want you to achieve your, your dreams and your goals. So please, please use the comment box and, and the like and the subscribe and share this video. Back to my story. I was fed up. I was so fed up. I was miserable, stressed. I just, I just couldn't take it anymore. But there I was. I was thinking, yes, I want to work online. I want to earn money online. But wait a minute. I had beautiful manager's title. I had a car. I had a great salary. And, and I started getting scared. Like, just telling my parents, here I am, 40 years old, and, and I'm scared of what my parents would say. I'm scared of what my family would say. I'm scared of what, what other people would think. I'm scared of what if I fail? I was thinking, how am I gonna make money online? Who am I at 40 years old who suddenly start online? I can't do that, I'm a manager. I spent hours looking at videos and YouTube and webinars and learning and you know, seeking options online. But I also learned, which is equally important, what I did not want. I knew I did not want to work for a boss. I did not want to ask for permission to do what I want to do. I wanted to make my own decisions. I did not want to work in an office. I did not work, want to work from nine to five. I want to choose my own hours. I did not, not want to stay in one location. I want to be location independent. I don't want to be stuck with other colleagues that I just need to smile and that boss that I need to smile. I don't want all that. I knew I didn't want the stress. I didn't want the stomach aches. I knew what I did not want, which is equally important to know what you don't want so that you can formalize what you do want. Now with all of those problems and, and doubts and worries and pain, there was actually one pain that was bigger than all of that pile of worries and problems. And that is the pain of regret. The pain of regretting that I didn't try it. And that was the one thing that drove me and that still drives me till today. So what I mean by this is that I don't wanna grow old, be 80 or 90 years old, looking back upon my life thinking, what if I had done it? 
What if I had tried it? What if I had taken the steps? What if I had quit my job and did what I really wanted? I don't want to grow old. I want to grow old thinking, yes, I've done it. I've tried it. And so you know how, how many research there's been done and, and elderly people, when they ask, you know, hey, what, you know, what is it? What, what would you do different in your life? It always comes back to, I wish I had, but I regret I haven't. So the pain of the regret is bigger. And I want to ask you, is the pain of, of your worries and doubt and, and, and change, is that pain? Is that, is that bigger than regretting? Like, whose life are you living? Yours or somebody else's, right? So for me, it just, it's just my drive. And to, like I said, until today, like whenever I want to make a decision or I have a dream or a goal, I'm like, yes, I want to, I want to go for it. I want to take the steps. I want to try it because I don't want to regret not trying. Having said that, I learned to take the steps. I learned to not take the leap of faith, but have a plan. I learned to not jump without a parachute, but make sure that this plan is my parachute. I learned to follow the recipe. And here's the thing, you know when you bake a cake, right? I'm gonna just explain this to you. When you bake a cake, you take a bowl and get, get this, I'm not a good cook at all, I don't even know how to bake a cake, but you take a bowl, you follow the recipe. You take flowers, you add some sugar, you add some eggs, you add all the ingredients of the recipe, you follow the recipe, finally you take the bowl with all the ingredients, you put it in the oven, and then 45 minutes later it goes ping, and your cake is ready, right? Do you ever take the bowl put it in the oven and then ping, the cake is ready. No, you don't. You follow the recipe. Just like that, when you want to make a change in your life, especially if you want to quit your job and be an online entrepreneur like I am, you want to follow the recipe. You want to have a plan that you can follow, which is why this is what I love doing the most now is because of everything I've learned, I know the plan and it's that escape plan, that transition plan that I help my clients with. So I've learned to do all the research all online. I've learned to focus on building my, my business online while I was still in my job. I learned to do the minimum required in my job so I wouldn't get fired and I could keep my salary because I needed that. I learned to then go from five days a week to four days a week to part-time and then finally I was able to build up my own business you know, good enough so that I could quit my job. So make that plan. Now all of this planning and steps and systems and, and tools that are out there to help you, all of that makes absolutely no sense if you don't have one thing. And that one thing is clarity. Like as long as I was not clear on exactly what I wanted to do, I was all over the place. I was like chaotic mind, you know, my gosh, like immense. But the moment I was clear on this is my goal, this is what I want to do, I didn't know exactly how I was gonna get there, but I was clear that I wanted to be an online entrepreneur, that I wanted the laptop lifestyle, that I wanted to travel the world and be in locations like this, that I, that I didn't want to work for a boss, that I wanted to do what I wanted, when I wanted, I wanna work when I want, is it at night and not during the day, I wanna go to the gym during the day and work at night. Everything is my choice. I know that I want to be my own boss and not ask for permission. So. I knew a lot of things and I knew I wanted to help people. So I had, I had this real clarity, right? Not crystal clear. I didn't even know how to get there, but that was clear. And then I could break it down into steps, start researching online, start creating a website, start, you know, um, I, I just, I started taking those steps. I even started writing books. I have two bestsellers. I did two TEDx talks, but I grew into that because remember, I used to be super shy and no confidence, but I was so determined to make this work. I said no to social engagements. I said no to friends and the friends who don't understand that I can't go out partying or have coffee or birthday parties or whatnot. I'm sorry. I even said no to my family. I don't want to spend Christmas there or do this or do that. I love my family to bits, but for me, starting this business is just, it's my baby. 
If you don't have time for a baby, then don't do it, right? If you want to do this, you have to dedicate, you have to commit yourself. So I, I also, I keep my clients accountable because that's what you, it takes. It takes dedication. It takes waking up or staying up later at night. It takes not watching TV and all those Netflix series. It takes work and effort. And I'm not lying about this. I put in the work and the effort, especially when you're still in a job, you need to do that daytime thing. You just have to, because that pays the bills. But then at night and in the weekends, I was growing my online business, writing my books, you know, learning how to speak, how to public speaking, learning even how to write a book, you know, learning how to build my YouTube channel, learning how to build my website. I did all of that. I surrounded myself with the right tribe of people who are doing what I wanted to do. And so I, I spent more time with them. I got motivated. I got inspired. I, 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 I took action what, what they told me to do. I took a coach. I took a mentor. I, you know, I couldn't do this without a coach. You can't do this on your own. When you do it on your own and you try to figure everything out, then you're all over the place. Because when you're in the middle of it, it's like, yeah, but I want to do this and I want to help them and I want to have an online course and I want to have a video and I want to, I want to have this and that. It's like, no, it doesn't work. So get a coach, get a mentor, get someone who's like, okay, these are the steps to take. Like this person has been in your shoes. Like I've been in the shoes of my clients. So I know exactly what it feels like and exactly what to do. And that is why now I help corporates that are still stuck in a job that need that escape plan and that want the clarity and taking the steps to become an online entrepreneur. There's so many people out there and I hope, you know, if you're one of them stuck in a job that you don't like, there is a way out. I know it's possible. I see it over and over in my clients and I am so much happier now. Like my stomach aches are gone. My, my chronic stomach stress is gone because I chose happiness. I chose to take the steps. I chose to live the life that I want you always have a choice. I have another video on that. You always have a choice. Even if you think you don't, everything in life is a choice. If you choose to stay in your job, it's your choice. If you stay in that relationship, it's your choice. I'm divorced as well. I chose not to be. I, ch I always choose my happiness. And I love my family, but my happiness, it's my life. It's your life too. You only have one life and life is too short. And I started all of this after I'm 40. So don't even come to me with excuses that this and that and tool and this and whatever excuses. No, the excuses are to limit yourself. The excuses are made to limit yourself. So I'm not, I'm not that. If you, you know, if people that I coach, I'm like, nope, that's the truth. I'm straightforward and I'm honest. I'm telling you it like it is. Also in this video, no excuses, no fluff. You can do this. It's your choice. Break it down into micro steps and start that plan of yours. Make a plan and live the life that you want. Make sure that you comment below because I want to hear from you. Make sure you check below because I'll put a link if you want to talk to me, a free call, get some clarity, get some next steps. I'm happy to help you. I always give a free call, so don't worry. Just ask me. Ask me questions all you want because I've been in your shoes and I want to help you. I want to help people that to be happier and live the life they want. So if this is you, the link is below. I also have another freebie that you can um, go to below. Comment below, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and come back next week, all right? I'll see you next week. You got this.